Tasmanian Football Hall of Fame icon, Matthew Richardson. Matthew Richardson began his football career with Devonport in 1992, playing 16 games and kicking 23 goals with the club, before being drafted later that year, under the father-son rule, to Richmond. His father, Alan, a premiership player for the Tigers in 1967, passed away earlier this year. Richo, today an Australian household name, made his debut for Richmond in 1993, bursting onto the big stage and becoming an AFL Rising Star nominee in his first season. Yeah, I just started to play some, some all right footy and Richmond sort of always kept in contact with uh, my dad because he, he had played for Richmond in the 60s, so sort of just came from that. And at the end of that year, I, I flew over here and signed up under the father-son rule. Congratulations, Matt, on becoming an icon of the Tassie Hall of Fame. I think the first thing that hit everyone at the club was um, obviously your athleticism, um, but secondly, just your want to get better, no matter what it was, whether it was you know, increasing your running power or getting better in the gym or you know, anything sort of on field with your marking, your kicking or whatever. The want to get better from a young age, which generally players don't pick up for a couple of years, um, was certainly evident very early on. He was Probably the best prototype of an AFL player that I, I ever coached. I mean, at six foot five in the old, um, an aerobic beast, uh, as quick as any player over 400 metres uh, at either football club that I, that I coached. I mean, it's almost the, the perfect specimen for AFL football. Growing up, it was guys like Michael Roach and you know Royce Hart, Ian Stewart. But Roachie was probably the one because he was um, you know full forward for Richmond when I first started following footy and watched him play. Wanted to be like him. Wanted to take marks and kick goals like Roachie. Couldn't kick goals quite as well as him, but um, he was probably my first hero. Your first games always a highlight. The MCG against the Saints in 1993. He was the club's key forward through the mid 1990s and 2000s, and led the club's goal kicking for 13 seasons and was selected as an All-Australian three times. Goal kicking's come in for a little bit of criticism also yeah. with the accuracy there. Well, uh, a lot of people do tend to say that, I suppose. On the weekend, I kicked five points against Carlton, but if you have a look at it, a lot of them were shots from, like, outside 50, which got touched on the line or something like mm. that. So it wasn't really poor kicking. I think it has improved in the last 12 months compared to my first season when I was pretty wayward, and that's where I'm... I've got this name as being inaccurate from, I think, the first year. He played 282 games for the club and kicked 800 goals and is 11th on the all-time list of AFL-VFL goal kickers. The superb athlete, capable of producing great feats of spectacular marking, running and goal kicking, had an injury-played career, losing the equivalent of three full seasons to injury. Day 21 now, yeah, how, how long do you see the career going all being well? If you yeah, stop all, leaping around and... <laughs> all being well, if I don't get injured like uh, Dermy thinks, hopefully another 10 years. Mm -hmm. But uh, you just never know, do you? Why'd you cut your hair off, Maddie, or the girls uh, on a night? I just had enough of getting uh, too much for me. In 2007, in a match against Essendon, he played the game with a fractured eye socket, still managing to kick four goals, winning the club's best and fairest that year. Richardson's final season in 2009 was once again plagued by injury, and although he only played six games at the start of the year, he secured six Brownlow medal votes, taking him to the all-time highest score by a Tasmanian, with a total of 140 votes during his career, one vote more than the great Ian Stewart. This was a key power forward who at the end of his career moved up onto a wing and nearly won a Brownlow medal as, as a wingman. Uh, it's just quite remarkable what he was able to do in the game. Richardson took a total of 2,270 marks during his AFL career, which was the second highest of any player at the time of his retirement. With multiple individual honours, including membership of the Australian Football Hall of Fame in 2014, this proud Tasmanian, who is now one of the most accomplished media performers of the modern era, becomes an icon of the Tasmanian Football Hall of Fame. Be proud of where you come from and you know I'm proud Tasmanian and wouldn't have uh, wanted to grow up anywhere else. Richo is one of the greatest Tasmanians to ever play the game. Tasmanian Football Hall of Fame icon, Matthew Richardson.